explain the mechanism of urine formation. Urine is continuously formed by each nephron and the processes involved in the formation of urine are glomerular ultrafiltration, tubular resorption and tubular secretion. How is urine formed? Urine is formed by three processes in the nephrons. They are filtration, reabsorption and secretion. In glomerular filtration, the glomerulus filters the water and other salt substances from the plasma of the blood. This results in an increased blood pressure which forces the plasma-like fluid from the blood into the Bowman's capsule and into the tubules. The fluid or filtrate includes many positive and negative ions of many elements. The filtrate does not have any proteins or red blood cells which are too large to pass through capillary membranes. In tubular reabsorption, substances are transported out of the tubules and back into the blood of the peritubular capillaries. Reabsorption takes place in the proximal tubule, the loop of Henle and distal tubule. The major part of the reabsorption occurs in the proximal tubule. About 15% of water is reabsorbed back into the stream. The process is regulated by the hormone vasopressin and aldosterone. In tubular secretion, Substances move from the plasma in the pertubular capillaries back into the filtrate and the renal tubules. The proximal tubule secretes creatinine and histamine and the distal tubule and the collecting duct secretes potassium into the filtrate. All tubules secrete hydrogen ions to regulate the pH of the body fluids. The filtrate is now called urine. Urine is about 95% of water, 5% of solutes of urea, uric acid, amino acids and electrolytes. The daily production is about 0 0.6 to 2.5 liters per day. Urine production Below 30 ml per hour indicates the possibility of a kidney failure.